Welcome to Pasa Vazoo, the next episode of Pasa Vazoo. Today we're making a, uh, a, one of those Italian classics that uh, you see a lot in restaurants. Uh, this, by the way, this is my daughter's house. You can see, this is not Pasta Vazoo, but we're in Pasta Vazoo. And uh, hey, let me show you the ingredients. <clears throat> we have uh, chicken, we have some cherry peppers, some sausages, parsley, garlic, some onions, sliced up long ways. You got some potatoes, okay? And some red pepper. We're not gonna throw these away, we're gonna use them anyway. And uh, we're gonna put these out. And we're gonna make some julians out of this. Okay, we just cut a little bit, cut the inside out. Make some julians. When you have them like this, you just cut them like that. Many ingredients, got a lot of ingredients inside, but it's well worth when you know making it because at the end it's a really delicious um, recipe. Alright, so okay, fine, we're just gonna put this together like this. And uh, okay, let's start. We're gonna, we're, start, we're gonna start with cooking some potatoes. We went to the nice and brown, we're almost getting there. There's baby potatoes over here. And after this, we'll try to do everything in one pan because when you usually make <laughs> chicken scarpariel or any kind of other beef or beef or anything, it's usually chicken scarpariel. You have a bunch of, you got one pan cooking the potatoes, then you have one pan cooking the chicken and the other one with the sauce, and then at the end, you combine them together. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put everything together in one pan and <laughs> hopefully everything goes good, okay? So, so hey, we're doing, we're doing good so far. They look good. We'll cook, we'll cook these up because we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna finish this up in the oven. And uh, so we're just going to give it a few minutes over here. We're going to take this out and we'll cook the chicken together with the sausage and the whole mumbo jumbo. We're going to turn this down a little bit now because we got them to the point where we want them now. See they're nice and brown on the bottom. That's exactly how you want them. See it nice and toasted. Mm -hmm. We're going to take this out of the... Uh... Oh, these, are, these are halfway cooked, by the way. They're not even cooked all the way. But I wanted that little toast on the bottom over there. That's what, that's what makes it... Tastes really good. It almost, it, it almost tastes like potato chips. Oh. All right, so we got this going on. We're gonna put these. We're gonna put this on the side now, and we go right into uh, the chicken. Right in. This is some dress. Yes. And we got some chicken legs as well. You can use chicken breast. You can use, you can use the breast. You can use the thighs. I didn't have any thighs, I only had the chicken breast. Flip them. We'll cook these for another, for good like five minutes or so. And uh, then after that, we're gonna add the sausage to this one. Right? Let's cook the chicken first. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we got the chicken going over there. We got a few more minutes. So we're not gonna cook the chicken all the way. But we, before we, we, uh, we even start turning the oven on, we cut the sausages. Italian sausage. Usually they put hot Italian sausage and uh, sweet Italian sausage. I'm not going to go for the hot sausage. I'm just going to go for the sweet sausage and Italian sausage that you like. It's almost like a jambalaya. It's got everything in there. <laughs> everything but the kitchen sink. All right, so we're going to put this in. Come on down. Now look at this chicken and see how the chicken is doing. This is, this is how you want the chicken. Now, at least it's got nice and brown on that side. When you have it on that side, it's nowhere close to being cooked yet. Okay, so we're gonna put this up cooking in the oven. Alright, so we're gonna finish cooking the chicken. Alright, so we're gonna finish this up cooking in the oven. Okay, so now we throw in the sausages together with the chicken. It's gonna taste delicious. Okay, fast a little while. Let it cook until the, the, the sausage sits halfway cooked as well. And then we're gonna put the rest of the ingredients and we're gonna put it together, we'll stick it in the oven in about oh, 25, 40 minutes. We'll be eating this bread. It's delicious. By the way, this is my daughter's house. Okay, my daughter's apartment. And uh, she wanted chicken scarpariello today. So I said, okay, out of all the dishes, <laughs> chicken scarpariello. <laughs> and uh, well, here we are. It takes a while for you to actually get this dish together, but once you do, 
it's really worth waiting for it because it's it's a really good, it's a really nice and delicious fish. And uh, hopefully it comes out as good as I used to make it down the pizzeria. And uh, well, we'll see. So stick around. Huh? Okay, so we're almost there. The uh, sausages, just like the chicken, a little bit more than halfway cooked. So this is exactly how we want them for now. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pour some white wine, any wine that you like, some cooking wine from here. This way we give that taste of the wine in there. We cook it up for another five minutes or so with this. And then we're gonna take this out and we're gonna cook the rest of the ingredients, which is the peppers, the onions, the garlic, and all the rest of the good stuff. And then we're gonna put it together. And we're gonna have a ball. How's that? Wow, yeah, looks good. Looks good? So we're gonna wait until that good. wine mm. gets all that alcohol out. And then uh, we're gonna take this out, like I said, and cook the rest of the stuff. Put it together, and we're gonna put it in the oven for about 25 minutes, uh, about 350 degrees, not too high, about 350 degrees, for 25 minutes, 30 minutes in there. And that should be it. We're gonna put this right on top of the, uh, the other ingredients. We're not gonna mix it together because we want it to have that steam that the peppers and the onions go right into the chicken and give you that nice scarpariello smell. Okay, let's see how we're doing over here. We're doing just great. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get all this chicken and sausage out of the pan. We're gonna stop this for a second. Shut this off. Take this out. It's still not, it's still not cooked all the way, but that's the whole idea about it. If you don't wanna cook the chicken all the way, we're gonna finish cooking it in the oven. Okay, we're gonna get all this, this chicken and sausage. Put it together here. Oh yeah, scarpariello. You gotta have patience for this one. <laughs> I'm gonna make you sing scarpariello all the way to your, to your nighty night tonight. I'm not gonna dream about scarpariello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get rid of this uh, stuff over here, not all the way, because we want a little bit of that, one little bit of that wine that's in there. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna put it in this pan over here. We're gonna use it later. Some fresh oil, <clears throat> get some fresh oil, and we're gonna cook the rest of the ingredients. Like I said, scarpariello. Oh man, it's got a long way to go. But we're almost, almost there. I could say we're halfway there now. Now, we're gonna put those, uh, those onions and peppers together. Peppers. Uh, we're going to put the garlic. Garlic in here. A little bit of garlic. Oh, the garlic is good. And we'll put some... A little bit of parsley. It's nice, huh? Yeah. And we're still not going to cook them all the way. We're going to put the potatoes and the... Uh, Veggies together, cook them up a little bit, and put some salt and pepper on this. Don't mm. forget the salt and pepper. Nice color. Okay, and some pepper. We're not gonna put any. Just in... Hey, come down. Here she go. Okay, here we go. A little bit of black pepper. We're not, we're not gonna put any powdered pepper in there, powdered garlic, garlic in it because we got the uh, fresh garlic. We're gonna cook this up now. And uh, once this is done, we're gonna throw that chicken right on top of it. We're not gonna mix the chicken with with the uh, onions and peppers. We're just gonna wait until this is all cooked nice. We're gonna put these right on top. What happens to all the steam of the peppers and the uh, and the, uh, the, the, uh, the onions? We're gonna steam this up and gonna make it really, really soft. And whatever it's crispy on top is gonna to stay nice and crispy because we're gonna put it in the oven and it's gonna be opened up. It's gonna be open. We're not gonna close it. We're gonna put an aluminum foil in it. We're just gonna put it right in there and we're gonna just finish up cooking it like that for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So that's all we need. So we'll cook this up now. You got the wine, you got the peppers. Okay, you got this side right out. It's one of the stuff. I got everything. Oh no, see, haha. Let's not forget this. It's also very important. Some cherry peppers. Oh, the cherry pepper. Cherry peppers. Let me put some cherry peppers. Now these are, are they hot? They're semi-hot. They're not really that hot. They're semi-hot. So when you do it, you cut them up. 
you pick, you cut them up, okay, you cut them up, all right, and you take the inside out. You don't want to, you don't put those seeds in there. Take them all, take all the seeds out, okay, and do with this. If you get some seeds in there, it's okay, but you really don't want many seeds in there, very little seeds. They kind of uh, cured in, uh, in vinegar. They cook and then they place inside the vinegar and uh, it gives a great taste. Throw some of these in there. Yeah, probably good. Probably good. Maybe one or two more. I'm going to get that vinegar down there. Get over here. <laughs> okay, let's get them all out. And we're going to put a little bit of this vinegar that's in there. Okay, like this. Go right into the uh, fish over here. Take it away like this. We're almost there. We're going to give it a few more minutes. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Love it. Mm. Beautiful. Give it a little more color. Mm. I'm not going to put a little bit of color on this. Oh, wow. Wonderful. We're going to just like, cook for about, ah, we're going to let them cook for about maybe uh, 10 minutes. Make them nice and soft. Peppers and the onions. And we're going to throw these, the rest of the stuff on it. We're stick it right in there. Wow, look at this. That's beautiful. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. What we do is uh, put a little bit of flour on it. What the flour is going to do, is going, we're going to make like a little bit of, like a roux almost. We're going to cook this flour inside this. Inside the whole mixture over here. Okay. Chicken stock on it. Okay. A little bit of chicken stock. Pick it up a little bit. Okay. And wait until it thickens up a little bit. The sauce is going to thicken up now because of the flour. And we're going to stick this right in the oven with the chicken and the sausage all together. And the scaparilla is done. So, I'm just gonna give it like a, two minutes. to start sticking up a little bit of the sauce. Wow. Let's give it, give it, give it a little taste, see how it, how it's good with salt. Mm. Perfect. All right, so here we're gonna do now. This is what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get this it thickened up, see the sauce, how it thickened up a little bit? Okay, we don't want to wait until it thickens up too much now. We're going to get the, uh, the pan and put it in the oven. We're going to put this, we're going to shut this off. We're going to put this right in the bottom of the pan. Okay. And then, we're going to place the chicken and the sausage, all of it, right on top of it. Why do I do that? Because I want that chicken to stay nice and moist with all the steam on the bottom. I want it to be nice and crispy because the scarpariello has got to be crispy on top, but moist at the same time. The oven's gonna do now. It's gonna cook that, that moisture right into the chicken, and on top, it's gonna become like a crispy. It's gonna stay nice and moist and beautiful. A little bit of this juice in there. Wonderful. And uh, <clears throat> we're gonna put this in the oven uh, for about, like I said, 25 30 minutes. And uh, I'll see you in about 30 minutes. And it's 35 minutes now. So here we go. See how it is. Wow. All right. That was beautiful. Wow. See how it is? Nice. It looks Still good. good. And, mm. and that's it. Look at this. Very good. Now the reason why, see this is the reason why I put it on top, this way, mm -hmm. what happens, some people can't eat it too spicy, 
So what I do is I put it on top and I just get the, get one piece. Halfway it's gonna be inside the sauce and halfway it's not gonna be inside the sauce. Most of the sauce is just it's on the side over here. And I'm just gonna put this over here. See half of it, it's inside the sauce and half of it it's not. Believe it or not, it's still nice and juicy. And then put it on potatoes, whatever it is that you want, peppers, nikwa. You want to put a little bit on top of the chicken? Hey, go right ahead, put it right on top of the chicken. But you gotta remember that the sauce is kind of spicy because of the red cherry peppers, okay? But uh, not as spicy as you think it's gonna be, but it's pretty spicy because of it. Now, if you want less spicy, what you do is um, you put, put less of those, those cherry peppers and uh, it'll be less spicy. Okay, I'll put a piece of breast over here as well. See a nice and crispy brown is on top. And sausage and that beautiful sauce. Those peppers and onions. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. That's beautiful. That's it. Let's make it look nice a little bit. Throw a little bit of this little parsley on it. And this is chicken scarpariello. What we're gonna do now, come here, honey. What did we make today? Ah. In my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a chicken pasta with scampanile down. Oh, that looks really Anthony, good. Anthony uh, ordered. That looks really good. Can I take a picture of this thing? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my look at this. Look at the sausage. The potatoes. I didn't put too many potatoes. I'm trying to get some potatoes on here. Oh, look at these two potatoes. They look beautiful. Hmm? Yeah. Wow. Pop this off the fork. Okay. And I'm you could try here. now. Oh, yeah? You can have the chicken. All right. Started with the chicken. Started yeah. with the chicken? Yeah. Started with the chicken, my wife Started says. with the chicken. Good, <laughs> good. Is it good? Is it? is it really hot? Is it spicy? It's so, not that spicy. It's a little, it has that little spice at the end, but it's, it's not too spicy. You can taste the spice though. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you like spice, it's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, this is the famous scarpanella. Wow. It is good. I want another piece. I want another piece. Give me uh, the sausage. The sausage? I'm going to try the sausage too. A little bit of potato. What is it? Mm -hmm. How about wow. you, senorita? You want to yeah, try yeah. it? I'm going to try it. Yeah. In a little too? while, yeah. I'm going to try a little bit of sausage. In a little while, I'm going to try And a little bit of pepper, like always, you know. That's really good. I am allowed. He's oh. the chef. Yeah. Yeah. In my yeah. kitchen. I think it. <laughs> Ando, this is for you. <laughs> well, actually, it's for your son because your son ordered it. So. <laughs> mm. 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 Hey, thank you for spending a little time with me, and um, I hope you guys try this. And I know you guys are gonna love this. Remember, if you want it less spicy, put a little less uh, cherry peppers. Put a little less. Otherwise, just go all the way with it, baby. Go nice, you know. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I had a good time doing this over here at my daughter's house. And I hope I see you next time. This is Pastor Fazu. And uh, hey, don't forget to uh, give me a little bit of thumbs up, thumbs up over here. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Huh? See you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, YouTubers. Thanks for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed my video, just say Pastor Fazu. And of course, subscribe. And I'll see you next time on my next video. Ciao.